good rising. Hey there, Twisted Sage. Well, I guess there's been some big events. Um, obviously, the Mars are crashing the action and murdering 20 people in Texas. There's going to be something surprising happening on the world stage. Uh, four or five degrees. Sun and Gemini. So the sun's kind of not aspecting a whole lot now. The moon is... Uh, 21 degrees of Aries. On the day, uh, let's see, what's today's my first day? So that, yeah, that last day of um, Mars and Pisces, the moon on top of it. So I don't know if you noticed or aware, but real sleepy energy, right? Lazy. Nice to stay in bed all day. In fact, it did take kind of a nap in the truck. Um, I, I got a hair. Um, so I would imagine today should feel pretty pleasant, especially in this next uh, hour and a half or so. rising constellation in the east is currently Cancer, so that makes the moon the ruling body of this two-hour sect. So we're in our emotions, but that moon is nearing conjunction with Venus, so our emotional body is sound with the receptivity of love. But that is sextile to Saturn. Sextiles are opportunities at 60 degree angle. So perhaps emotionally backed money to deal with career. Jump in on that uh, that shooting, courtesy of Edward Lerner, YouTube astrologer, and did a quick uh, 15 minute or so vlog on the kid. Uh, shit, what is his name? Ah, it's evading me, but. The kid's name. So the kid, I'm sure you recently heard me speak of uh, Algol, the demon star, associated with alcohol, but also associated with beheadings, Medusa. Uh, so definitely it's a dark energy, 26 degrees Taurus. But I guess this kid's son was 25 degrees within few degrees orb either direction maybe I'll try to pull the details a little greater on that but um, I was trying to think back what was the oh the south node eclipse I think was just right there yeah it was right at like 25 degrees towards 25 degrees Scorpio um and also, we had the Mer Mercury and v or Mercury and Taurus trying Pluto and Cap retrograde. So that could uh, the alchemy of well, 
Pluto being the planet of death and transformation. Most people that are serial killers, even like O.J. Simpson wasn't a serial killer, or usually it's a mutable energy. So maybe I'll try to pull that chart up. Yeah, your Geminis, your Sagittarius, your Pisces, your Virgos. I want to say there's... So, well, yeah, for instance, Joe J. Simpson was a Gemini with a Pisces moon. But you also want to look at perhaps what's, what's afflicting someone's Mercury for perhaps the mental illnesses. So, uh, Gemini and, and Pisces very much rule the media. Uh, especially if you mix some Sag in there, a bit more flamboyant. And, you know, Sag and Pisces would be very much fantasy realm. You know, Walt Disney was a Sagittarius but so for a gem for a, since we're in Gemini season Pisces rules over the 10th house of career and how seen in the world for a Gemini That's why perhaps the Virgo and Gemini are a bit of the magician. You know, the slide of the hands. And Mercury is the planet of alchemy. So the manifest, the, a key player in manifesting. That's where like news is probably perhaps a very Gemini thing because why, why there's like there's a ton of different topics um, but we're getting you know magic spelled so what I'm kind of getting at is this unfortunate slaughtering of little children the media is still oligarchs of the world still use it to play you emotionally like so many things are brought to you through the screen for the, the screen in everybody's hand the television For that, strictly newspaper, the spreading of ideas to implant into your psyche. All definitely waiting for this new new moon on Sunday to plant uh, you know the fir first new lunar cycle since the last month of eclipse seasons to change it up you know soon we're gonna have uh, Merc Mercury will be back in I guess it'll probably still take another take another two weeks before Mercury's back in Gemini. So we will be having 
Mercury and home sign, Venus and home sign, Taurus, and Mars and home sign. So very youthful, you know, it's that spring board, spring into life. What can you get started? But there is a wrench in the spokes. What have you been working on as far as career, work? Um, because you're not going to be able to expand it any further. Because that, on the 4th of June, Saturn will be going retrograde. So, but that that's also a review time for the test. So we'll have Mercury go direct and Saturn go backwards. Um, oh man! So other. Body's doing all right. My body's so so sensitive to whatever I intake. So pico de gallo and uh, avocados, expensive blue corn tortilla chips. They've been getting me by apples, grapes, watermelon. Have some oatmeal this morning. Um, oh, but uh, well, I was going to speak on maybe perhaps some Mercury retrograde kinks. Uh, those who have followed for a bit know that. I was bitch moaning, complaining about losing my $100 headphones. So, of course, I had replaced them. Well, I got out of the truck and they fell out. And I got to the job site and I was looking for them to charge them and I was fucking pissed. Uh, same old story, just a different day. And I'm like, man, if they fell out at at Circle K, I would have, I would have heard that. And they fell out like uh, at my buddy's on some ground, dirt, cinder action. So I didn't hear it, and I got so lucky when I got home or was dropping him off. I seen him in the dark. Actually, I don't know if it was me, but I I happened to, it got ran over a little bit, but it just damaged the case a little. Everything, everything's working fine, so. But it, it, it that was, that was just, you know, God bless you. I guess that was Tuesday. Yeah, I guess that was Tuesday. Um, yeah, so I better keep going before it gets too long. But uh, so that's one thing. But it, it wasn't, I guess, the worst of things. It, it, you know, it's not like I broke my phone. That won't be happening again. <laughs> uh, looking for some wood. <laughs> Alright, pumpkin stem. Um, obviously, you can see the slowness in my Mercury retrograde mind right now. But, uh, oh, there was an airplane that crashed and nearby our uh, gym I go to and then uh, the first responder sheriffs ended up rolling their SUV or whatever maybe it was a truck um, 
And then on my way home, been working late, and it was like, I don't know, it must have been 9.30, pulled to a stoplight behind somebody, and then there's a sheriff in the other lane, and his backup lights are on, he's just sitting there, and all of a sudden, the car in front of me goes, and I'm like, what the fuck is that dude doing? And so I pull up next to the cop, he's got his window down, so I... And, and but both lights were red, so going both directions. And then, of course, the sheriff was just like, "It's broken, just go." Um, so, a different uh, array of uh, examples of some Mercury retrograde frustrations. Oh, another small one. So, as a painter, when you have your paint brushes, they got a real thick cardboard. Uh, covering called a husk and surprisingly usually the cardboard lasts about the life of a brush well this dude cleaning out the garage so that this house that I'm about to finish can be finally sold he takes a paint bucket I have with with appears to him to look like trashy shit and I'm like fucking motherfucker that's a brand new brush fucking cover so now I gotta wrap the motherfucker with paper every fucking day, which, whatever. Uh, small compared to losing your kid to some maniac, but hey, that's the world I'm living in right now. Um, and then I got I got a homie whose uh, daughter in her twenties, I think early 20s, nothing younger than 19, I don't think, uh, had her appendix rupture. But this one's getting long. Be patient traveling out there. Start that out.